Asia has uh, been uh, continued to grow for 50 years and uh, uh, there are many reasons and one is uh, they over time uh, took uh, policies based on the market instead of uh, state gu uh, guidance. Uh, there are a lot of discussion that uh, in Asia state guided uh, uh, the economy. In any developed countries uh, the role of state is important to guide and set rules and so on. But at the same time in case of uh, Asia over time they uh, adopted uh, more open uh, trade and investment regime which is uh, uh, capturing uh, the growth of other regions and also they have a very strong domestic demand. So those are important issues. Uh, of course uh, there are many uh, challenges including climate change, gender equalities and so on, but uh, uh, the Asian countries has uh, uh, grown over time, uh, uh, once again, based on the market approach, but also they have invested in infrastructures and education, health and uh, good governance, and uh, also there were elements of uh, so social inclusiveness and they paid attention to that. And also, uh, more or less, uh, the countries uh, um, uh, have a very good relation with each other. So as far as uh, these conditions are met, which means uh, keeping open trade and investment regimes, keeping investor in the infrastructure which are needed for, for the economic uh, development as well as uh, welfare of the people like uh, electricity, water, urban transport and so on. As far as uh, these conditions are met, I think uh, Asia will continue to grow in a very solid manner. Uh, ADB was uh, founded in 1966 and the initial role was more about financing development and because uh, uh, many Asian countries were uh, in short of uh, the needed capital so by uh, issuing bond based on the taxpayers uh, contribution to the uh, shares they issued a bond uh, in uh, American, European or Japanese market and uh, lend it to Asian countries together with the knowledge. So, uh, in the beginning years, it was important to finance agriculture part and infrastructure. But then we moved to more social sectors like education and health. And it is becoming more important for us to support the knowledge building, capacity building, and also uh, through close discussion with authorities to induce uh, good policies uh, regarding macroeconomic policies, sector policies, and structural policies. And the ADBI's role is very important because ADBI was established in 19, late 1997, and uh, it supports the capacity building, uh, research, and uh, technical assistance for other uh, many uh, sectors, like uh, small and medium-sized enterprises, uh, financial uh, inclusion, gender issues, uh, regional connectivity. So those research works and capacity buildings are important for ADBI and also ADB. Yeah, T20 process is a think tank uh, a version of uh, G20 and it covers uh, 10 areas of discussions including uh, climate change and uh, SME and uh, other important issues for development. So uh, ADBI is uh, one of uh, the leading uh, think tanks uh, which um, will make a uh, put input to the uh, G20 summit meetings and uh, I think uh, to have a uh, kind of independent uh, research oriented ideas uh, from uh, such institutions like ADBI is so important for G20 process.